Welcome to the deep dive tutorial video on the updated God Roll Finder tool, one of the big updates of Light.gg patch 2.0. I'm Afpak, creator of Light.gg, here to walk you through some of the finer points of how this feature works, what the intention is, and hopefully answer some of your questions. If you don't have time for a deep dive, check out the patch 2.0 rundown, which sums up everything that's changed in about three minutes. So what is the God Roll Finder? The God Roll Finder is a tool that allows you to define what you consider to be your own personal God Roll by specifying the perks that you like on your Destiny 2 weapons and finding what weapons are capable of rolling with those perks. Pretty straightforward in concept, but the tool has a lot of features built in, so let's get into it. This is where you land when you first pull up the God Roll Finder. One of the big changes from the previous version of the tool is that it no longer works with armor. Before Armor 2.0, it was useful to be able to see what armor could roll with what perks, but that's no longer a thing, so we don't need to clog up the tool with it any longer. Another big change from the previous version, as you can see on the left, is that you can now select more than one type of weapon at a time. The number on the left under each weapon icon indicates how many of that type of weapon are capable of rolling with your selected perks, and the right number indicates how many of those you actually have in your inventory. You can click this right arrow at the upper right to expand the list out if you're not sure what the weapon type is just by its icon, and clicking toggle all will either select or deselect all of the weapon types in the list. Next, let's clear everything out and build a new search. One of the most popular combinations of perks across multiple weapon types is Outlaw plus Rampage, so let's see what all can roll with those perks. We can either scroll through the list and try to find Outlaw, or we can click search for perks up at the top and start typing. Here you can see there are two versions of Outlaw. One is the standard one that shows up on all weapons, and the other only shows up on Rose. Don't ask me why Bungie built it that way, but regardless, let's just pick them both. You can see as we select perks, the lists on the right update automatically with all the weapons that are capable of matching our criteria. To prove my previous point, let's delete this first Outlaw by dragging it over to the trash can. Once I do that, you can see the only weapon that remains, for whatever reason, is Rose. Let's add the real outlaw back, and now you can see there are 119 weapons in the game capable of rolling with outlaw. Now let's search for Rampage, and add both of the ones that come back to our list of perks. Looking at the results on the right though, this doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. It's showing us any weapon that can roll with outlaw or Rampage. We wanted to know what weapons can roll with both outlaw and Rampage. To handle that and scenario, we need to add a perk group by clicking the button to do that at the top. Clicking Require All Perks will split all of those perks we have selected into their own perk group. However, in this case, we want the Outlaws in one group and the Rampages in another, so let's drag and drop them around to make that happen. Essentially, each perk group is a potential column in the resulting weapon. If you want to search for perks and want them to be in two different columns, then you need two different perk groups. Now, with our perk groups structured the right way, there you have it. There are 47 possible weapons that can roll with both Outlaw and Rampage. If you want to further restrict the list to say, only show legendary kinetic weapons that are random rolls, you can click on the filters button in the upper right and do just that. Now that we've fiddled with our criteria so much, let's save them so that we don't lose them. Back next to your perk groups, click the favorite button. You can see the floating heart with the count in the lower right hand corner went up from two to three, and if we click on it, you can now see that our criteria were added to the bottom of the list of favorites. We can click on one of our other favorites, see what's going on there, and then click back to where we were without having to pick all the perks and filters in again. Pretty handy. Now let's take a look at what's going on under the roll results on the right side of the screen. Rolls are categorized in two tabs, possible and yours, which are hopefully pretty obvious as to what will be in each tab. Both tabs present the rolls that the tool has found similarly to the roll appraiser, with little labels indicating their key attributes, which you can hover over if you're not sure what they mean. On the possible rolls tab, you can see that matched perks either have a blue background and the random shuffle icon in the upper right, or if we turn curated rolls back on, a red background and the curated bullseye icon. 
The purpose of this distinction is to show how perks might land in different columns or different combinations depending on if you're looking at a weapon's curated or random roll. The empty squares indicate that none of the perks in your search were found in the perks possible for that column on that weapon. At the top toolbar of the possible roles tab, you can click collapse or expand to jump down to other weapon types quickly. And the final bit of functionality on this tab, clicking on filter further will open an item database search that will give you the full filtering capability of the light.gg item database to drill further into your search result. Let's hop over to the your roles tab now to take a look at what weapons we have that actually match these criteria. So in my inventory, you can see I've got three weapons that have Outlaw and Rampage that match all our other criteria. A Duke, a Masterworked Blast Furnace, and a Smuggler's Word. Since these are real roles, we're able to show the role grade by comparing them to the community average role. To dig deeper into that grade and what you might change to improve it, you can click Export to Appraiser in the toolbar at the top to summon up the role appraiser with just the roles that matched. You can then click select most popular perks to pick the perks on your role that the community uses most often for that weapon. You can click the lock icon to lock or unlock the weapon, or you can freestyle mess with the perks and see how the stats are affected in real time. If you're curious, feel free to check out the full role appraiser deep dive video for everything that this tool can do for you. The link to the video is in the description below. And that's more or less it. I'm sure I've missed some of the smaller details, but hopefully this leads you enough in the right direction that you can start to dig into the updated God Roll Finder and identify what weapons are capable of being your personal God Roll. If you have any questions, feel free to send them to us on Discord, Twitter, or leave them in the comments below. Thanks as always for supporting the site, and be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of the newest Light.gg features.